What's up guys, in this video we're going to be looking at using Autodesk Maya 2019 to build or to learn the very basics of building a simple chess piece. Um, I am using Maya 2019, but I'm going to be showing things that are exist in uh, recent previous versions as well. Um, so on opening up Maya, a uh, few quick things to note are right here at the top right, your workspace. I am using Maya Classic. Anytime you don't see the tools that I have or if like windows start disappearing on you, you can always click up here in the workspace, choose a workspace, and even reset current workspace. Um, so a few other menus to look at up here. You have uh, curves and surfaces or poly modeling where you can quickly create some 3D shapes. And there's other sub menus over here. The one on the right that I'm using is modeling toolkit. So I have poly modeling because we'll be modeling polygons um, or polyhedra and then the modeling toolkit so um, starting to create some simple shapes I'm gonna go ahead and click on this guy the uh, cylinder and then make a cylinder at zero zero right here on my XY grid a um, few ways to move around uh, I'm using just a simple like right click mouse with the uh, center scroll button if you zoom with that scroll you can zoom in and out on the shape that you have selected um, if I hold down the option key on my keyboard and then I click and drag around, then I can move around it in three dimensions. <clears throat> so, uh, other hotkeys to know. Um, almost at all times I'm using Maya, I have my left hand uh, on four keys. That's Q, W, E, R, all right next to each other. So I got my, my pinky on Q, my ring finger on W, my middle finger on E, and my uh, pinky on, or my index finger on R. Reason being is that those are all the hotkeys for simple modeling. Um, Q is this, like the selection tool, this arrow guy over here. W is the move tool where I can move around my shape, commands you don't do. Uh, R or E is the rotate where I can pick a certain axis and rotate or just grab the middle and kind of free rotate there. And then R is the scale where I can scale that shape up. So like combining all three of those functions, moving, rotating, and scaling are let you create a variety of different shapes. So again, my left hand is just right there on Q, W, E, R at almost all times. Um, so with any of these uh, selection modes, we have your X, your Y, and your Z, um, which are just different axes. If I can... I can click on the square or the yellow piece in the middle and affect the whole shape in proportion at once, or I can click on one of the three axes and just affect that proportion. This works with all shapes. I've hit delete and I go ahead and like make another, uh, another shape like a box. I can do the same kind of deal. So maybe I want to stretch this guy out and make like a longer box or a narrower box. Um, maybe I want to rotate it. Now, if I'm in a poly modeling, or the, I'm sorry, the modeling toolkit over here, if I scroll down, um, depending on what I have selected, like move, rotate, or scale, I can rotate or scale or move them in very specific quantities over here. Um, so if I hit E for rotate, and I can, I want to rotate it like maybe exactly 90 degrees, I can type in 90, and boom, I have more specific measurements over there. But that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to uh, start creating uh, a chess piece. So before even doing anything else, I should definitely look at what a chess piece looks like. Always look at references so I actually have something real to look at and not just trying to go off of what's in here. So if I Google chess pawn really quickly, I'll have some images. And maybe I want to pick one like this guy. So basic shape is a kind of a cylinder that kind of expands upward, a circle at the top, and then some kind of donuts all in the middle. Let's go back to Maya. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and make my cylinder. I'm going to go ahead and move this guy up a little bit so he's sitting on top of the plane. And then I'm going to scale him up. Again, I'm just using like W and R, or like W to move, R to scale. Uh, you can also do that by clicking on these over here. Now, another way to manipulate things in Maya, if I hold down the right click on my mouse, so I'm holding down right click and I see some other options here. I'm currently in object mode. I can also select edge, vertex, or face mode, or some of these other ones. Object mode lets me select the entire object. But if I go to edge mode, then I can click individual edges and move or scale or rotate them. So if I go back to move, I can move just that edge. Um, if I go to vertex mode, I can click on an individual point and move that point, or even scale that point. So what I'm going to do, right click object mode, let's go to vertex mode, I'm going to position my camera so that I can select all the vertices or the vertexes on top at the same time, 
And then if I grab my scale tool, I can scale them off in the middle and kind of create that expanding or contracting. And then, whoops, I go back to object mode, hit F on my keyboard, it kind of resets my zoom onto whatever object I've selected. Now I've got the basics or the beginning of that pawn. So let's see here, what else do I get? I need a circle at the top and some rings. Uh, fortunately, one of the other basic polygons is called torus, which is basically a donut or a ring. If I create a torus, I can move this guy up, maybe flatten him out a little bit so he's kind of a flatter ring. Maybe scale him in a little bit. Maybe move it up a little bit. Let's see here. Is that top one pretty big? The top one's kind of big. Let's go ahead and scale it up a little bit. Now I've got my ring. Now, another hotkey. Command D, duplicate. Create a duplicate object of that torus or that ring right on top of it. So now if I move it down after I hit Command D, I have another ring. Easy. So I'm going to scale it up a little bit. Maybe make this one a little bit taller. Just start to create that base. I love, love, love duplicating things and then changing the duplicate. Just creates a sense of repetition and layers and I'm starting to get this basic pawn shape. Maybe I want this UFO guy to expand a little bit more. All right, I think we're lacking the circle, so let's go ahead and create the sphere. Let's move them up. Probably scale them up from the center a little bit. And it's kind of crude, but I'm starting to get a basic uh, pawn shape. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just do some minor tweaks and adjustments to this guy before ending this video because I don't want to make this video too long. I will make a second video for more advanced modeling uh, for more pawns or for more chess pieces. So look forward to that. Um, and without further ado, thanks for watching Basics of Autodesk Maya.